actually filmed this video like three friggin' times, so this time has to be the charm. <laughs> Anyways, so welcome back to yet another video. Today's video is about my Fermo glasses. So this company reached out to me about um, a few months ago and asked for me to do a, a review on my channel. And um, as an avid, avid glasses wearer, because I cannot see dilly squat like ever, um, I figured obviously it was a perfect pairing. Um, so I got these glasses on their website and um, I don't know if they have that option when you just peruse it, but there's a blogger section. I'll leave in the description box the name of the glasses that I got. Um, sorry if you see a reflection from the window. I did this on a ring light and literally I had like reflections right here and I don't want to film this again. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, so why I actually really love this company was that everything that they um, offer on their website is really really affordable um, and not only that they are so easy to work with they are so quick to get back to their customer service is impeccable and um, you usually have like online on their website they usually have sales or like um, pairings so you can get like two for 39 glasses or something like that um, so what I really liked is that it was so easy I just uploaded my prescription the complicated part would have to be uh, me kind of letting them know the distance between my pupils. That honestly did not take long at all. I was just thought it was so complicated, so it took me like a few days till I realized when I Googled it, it takes two seconds to do. It is not that serious. So basically when you're on their website, you're paying like probably around $20 basic flat for a pair of glasses and then from there you can kind of add on additions whether you want like anti-reflection which I should have friggin done <laughs> or um, whatever it may be and then shipping um, all in all they are very inexpensive coming from someone for me who pays usually four to five hundred dollars for my glasses so you should have like Versace glasses or Dior glasses or something these are amazing and what I love the most about them is that they're great quality and they're so lightweight you barely feel them on your face it's so nice you just they're like eh. oh, I can't really do that <laughs> they're just really really lightweight on my face which I appreciate a lot when it comes to a pair of glasses now the other part of this video that I wanted to discuss is why I'm such an avid glasses wearer so a few years back I was um diagnosed I guess is the best word to say and it's called infiltrative keratitis um, and basically what happened when I noticed was that um, around my eye like the black or brown part of my eye I started to develop a red ring and my eyes just felt like so on under pressure very dry um, so basically what happened when I went to my eye doctor was she was explaining to me that I probably was over wearing my contacts and at the time I was serving daily um, I literally served all the time and then basically I had a few days for school so I would wear and I would work 12 hour shifts obviously you're not gonna have your contacts in only for 12 hours you have them in for a few hours before you go to work and then afterwards so I literally was wearing them majority of the day I was strained my eyes to the point that I got an infection <laughs> pretty much um, so she she prescribed me these eye drops, which I'll leave here a picture of, and um, they helped tremendously. Unfortunately, there's no like drug to help with this condition. All you can do is just keep on hydrating and lubricating your eyes until they start to feel better. Um, and that took about a month. And then when I went back to her, she was like, you know what, you're pretty much healed, you're good to go, like you should be good. However, pretty much healed is not healed, and I kind of took that advice and ran with it, and I was like, okay, cool, I can put on my contacts again. So I was wearing them for my long shifts yet again, and because I'd wear makeup every day, I didn't want to wear my glasses, and I didn't really want to wear my glasses to serve, it's just annoying. Um, and I ended up getting it again. <laughs> so I went back to her and then now I just kind of learned, you know what, I'm only going to wear my contacts when I need to, which is when I wear makeup or like when I'm filming a video or I'm going to an event or doing something. But on a daily basis, I generally wear glasses. I wear glasses to the gym, I wear glasses running errands, like that's just what I do. So when Fermo reached out to me, I was ecstatic. I was like, for sure I'll review your glasses and like let my subscribers know a great deal. So basically these are now like my go-to and I still have my Versace glasses I still wear those all the time as well but it's nice to have an option I always wanted variety but I always saw it as oh you'd have to pay hundreds of dollars for glasses so I can't have like a lot of pairs of different pairs of glasses but now I can have like different glasses depending on the style I'm going for that day or what I 
decide I want to look like that day or you know what I mean and I thought these are kind of cute because they're different they're always glasses I saw on girls I would see online and I was like oh those look cute but I don't know if they'll look good on me and I was like oh my god these gl thermal glasses are so inexpensive that I could actually get these glasses and still wear my Versace ones too so I thought it was really cool I am so grateful that they reached out to me and I just wanted to let you guys know as my subscribers the deal um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want any questions about infiltrative keratitis, I pretty much got it down. <laughs> you guys can definitely ask me. And if you guys have advice too on how to deal with it better, I don't think I have it anymore. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty in the clear. But I just want my lesson not to strain my eyes. Like, I don't overdo it with contacts anymore. I don't wear them past the amount of time that you're supposed to wear them because I used to over freaking wear them. I really try and take care of myself a little more. I'm not perfect, so I won't say this was like an overnight thing, but I definitely try. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll check you guys in another video. Bye loves!